Hey. Oh! Hold on a second. Wait a minute. I didn't know there'd be hips. I didn't know we'd be moving it. The lyrically, the content, the theme, this is very mature, very grounded, very western. When I tell my mama about you. Tell her. Hey, damn, okay, they're different. They're different. I don't just mean because it's co-ed. I mean they're different. What is up, Lynx? And I don't know what Card's fan base is called. Cardigans? Uh, we got Card. Tell my mama. Uh, this is my first reaction to Card. I've heard some good things. Let's go. Pretty. Champagne for breakfast. Kiss us goodnight. Playing my heartstrings so not I'm alive. Yes, exactly. I'm glad you agree. I'll have to stop a couple times for copyright, but I'll try to keep the talking for the second playthrough. But I already love the tones and the texture we're getting. I love some language. I found a new type. Oh, 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 you're moving fast. You should know that I like it. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. I didn't know there'd be hips. I didn't know we'd be moving it. Come on. Pull up on you when you need me. You can't separate. Yo, mama love me, but your daddy died for said break her heart. I'm going homicidal, so I'm outside at 2 a.m. Throwing pebbles all at your window. That's hey. the only time we don't need to be sneaky with a new window. It's out for You know I could be a gentleman. Know you heard in my last song. In your heart I won't meddle with. I do anything to make our love last long. It's that strong. My passion for you. I got money I can make transaction for you. Make you thank your ex for passing on you. Make you fine. Let me make your daddy proud of you. Every time I say ooh, they say ooh. Is that we're we're already in sync? Um, so when I asked people about Card, uh, I don't remember the name, but there was one member that I was told that everybody talks about, um, and I'm guessing it's this this guy. Uh, but let me know if I'm wrong. But we had some nice flows here. I, we're gonna talk about this on the second playthrough. But um, just lyrically, the content, the theme. This is very mature, very grounded, very western, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean it in a refreshing way. It's very cool. We don't need to be sneaky with a new window. It's our play. You know I could be a gentleman. Know you heard in my last song. In your heart I won't meddle with. I do anything to make our love last long. It's that strong. My passion for you. I got money I can make transaction for you. Make you thank your ex for passing on you. Make you fine. Let me make your daddy proud of you. Okay, I'll just break it up again for copyright, but damn, okay, they're different. They're different. I don't just mean because it's co-ed, I mean they're different. I'm into your damn minutes, sophisticated. I really wanna show you off. Go to yeah, China, go to that soul, yo. If you don't want body at that, just so yo. You did train me, skip soon, young, then I'll soon, you give me soon, you'll soon, you'll take a soon. 
소녀를 Swalalala 감리 버스 취해봐 발랄라 교태 나 투스테 두 센치 맥맨 날 샹하지 도지 부스터 맘아 스왈럿 포의 실존 진짜 칼툰 픽션으로 맵시가 트랄럽 때 단결 같은 매너의 톤 특별함이 그런 미는 미안 간정 Oh you're cute, you're cute Love the way you're talking out your mood If you give me something something left to do I'm sorry, I was gonna let it roll out, but I'm a sucker for some nice, pretty background vocals. Going back, when I tell my mama about you. Cause I'm going back, when I tell my mama, mama. Cause I'm going back, when I tell my mama, mama. Cause I'm going back, when I tell my mama, mama. Oh, ooh, when I tell my mama about you. Ooh. And then the look back? Yes, shout out to full length songs. Thank you, Card. Damn, okay, well, we're definitely gonna run back through it, but quick thoughts. Uh, the setting was interesting because it was like this uh, abandoned or semi rundown mansion or whatever, but it was a lot of like white, off white, tan in the settings. The lighting, the clothing, I don't know if that was just because they wanted to have almost a, a, a monochromatic kind of theme. They wanted everything tied together or if there's something deeper going on there. But uh, lyrically, concept-wise, uh, like I said, very mature, very grounded, real world, uh, relatable, very, very interesting. Unfortunately, with that last, uh, the last vocal into rap verse, it wasn't fully translated. So people have to let me know. I'll, I can also check out on my own time about what he was talking about but um everything else very very real very real world very uh very grounded i like that a lot And definitely let me know who they are. Uh, like I said, I know that uh, a couple of people told me about, um, I think it was this guy, I just don't remember his name, but let me know who they are and stuff. Let me know their story. How did we get a co-ed group? I think that's so interesting. It's so different. But just to start, the la 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 with the strings, it's so pretty, it's so elegant. And then we get these really nice tones. I've been on a little kick where I've been really enjoying artists with character and with personality that sets them apart a little bit and I mean shit we got that here this this tone champagne for breakfast kiss us good night yes playing my horse drink so not I'm alive oh oh no I want to hear it again and it's my channel so I can go back if I want to champagne for breakfast kiss us good night mm. playing my horse drink so not I'm And we go into this part, but for that first part, we had that texture, we had the tone, we had the richness. I don't know if it's, I think it might be both of them. Um, I don't know who's who, but uh, we have kind of a texture, a richness, and then we go into kind of a lighter, softer, more elegant melody. And then that kind of transitions us into this, which is very airy and very light. Mm. And, hi. And I thought on the first playthrough that uh, uh, up until this point that this was going to be maybe like a dreary or a sad song or video just based on the kind of rundown look of the of the setting. And then her, she's wearing this, you know, kind of grunge with the um, with the with the shirt off the shoulder. And obviously she still looks great because it's like very w well curated and, and styled. But it's that style that makes it look like it's not styled as a as a 90s boy. Boy, I love that shit. I love this look. It's she's kind of walking, maybe like she's tired or she's you know over it. She looks over it. The suitcase is kind of sloppily or uh, packed, or maybe they're overpacked. And again, they're packed with stuff that's that white off-white color. So it ties that kind of visual theme we're getting a lot of. Um, the dirt is you know a light tannish brown color the suitcases um even in the clothing there's a lot of that so i think that might just be a, a direction thing just to have a lot of visual stuff kind of aligned but i thought that was interesting so up until this point i thought we were about to get a sad song the boots also 
I mean, and as beautiful as she looks, she does not look like she's having the best time. Tired. Oh, beautiful. Yes, and then we get this nice change up when totally shifts the energy. Obviously, the instrumental kicks in. We got some more bass, but it's still a pretty chill instrumental. It's it's not, I wouldn't call this part of the the trend of like easy listening soft music, which isn't usually my thing, because what they do is they inject a lot of personality and energy with the vocals, and they're not even necessarily doing really loud vocals. They're not going on huge runs. They're not hitting these crazy high notes. They're just injecting personality and energy with their cadence and with their melody and with their pitch change and their flow. It's very nice. I'm ready to dive in. Yeah. Uh. So, boy, your cue, just a quick little something, a little bit of a cadence at the instrumental change. Then we, la da 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 we kind of, we're kind of weaving in, we're kind of settling into this new cadence. We've got these ad-libs. Oh, total energy shift. If you keep this up, there's nothing left to do. If you keep this up, there's nothing left to do. And then we go up, obviously I can't sing, but then we go up with the pitch a little bit. We dance on the instrumental. We add in a little bit of a melody. It's just very, very elegant. It's very well done. And I like the way that she kind of pushes through that do. And then we have the ad lib. It's the same ad lib as the previous line. So move and do are kind of like partial rhymes. Then you have the ad lib being very similar. So it all just works really well sonically for me. Now you move. If you keep this up, there's nothing left to do. Hmm. And then we slow it back down when you're loving me just like that. So that's like almost a rap cadence. It's kind of spoken word with a little bit of uh, with a little bit of rhythm to it, but it's not necessarily vocals. And then we have the ad lib that's just repeating like that. Okay. So then obviously like that and then going back, those are the partial rhymes there and then a different ad lib, it's true. It just, it adds this conversational part. It This whole song, the, all these lyrics, they're very conversational in that it sounds like they're really talking to somebody. They're telling a story. We're really getting from A to B. We're getting, we're exchanging information, uh, which isn't something you always necessarily get when songs are focused more on like getting you hyped or being catchy or being cut up for TikTok or whatever it might be. Hmm. True. And then I like that because I saw it tell my mama and I was like, what are we going to do? It's like, I'm thinking like a kid being like, I'm going to tell my mom. <laughs> but I figured that wasn't it. So I like what we ended up doing. It's tell my mama about you. That's that's the destination. That's the point. It's this relationship is real. You are real. I trust you. I love you. I'm, I'm ready for you to get to the final stage. To, you have to pass the final test. I'm going to tell my mama about you because I, I don't know, can't speak for everybody, but I think some of us have been there where we might have had some interests we might have been talking to somebody we might have been working on something but we didn't necessarily tell our family it was going on because you don't want to do that until it's something real you don't want to introduce your mom to somebody uh and then she never sees them again uh because what was the point of all that uh so you want to wait until you know it's real until you know they're legit until you feel like it's going somewhere and that's kind of what i think is why the beginning of the song looked a little dreary and they were in kind of like a daze she was tired looking up at the son uh like you've been waiting for the person that you could tell your parents about you've been waiting for the person that you would feel comfortable that you would feel safe and that you wouldn't feel like your mom would judge you or hate the person you've been waiting for that and now we got it that's why we talk about i'm ready to dive in let's do this and who let, let me know their names please tell her hey and i like this little i like the way we come in we we kind of push forward we do a little hop we got a foot out you know i'm all about that and then we do a little thing i don't know if it's just because she's wearing the cowboy boots and the outfit but like i'm seeing a little arms i'm thinking of like what i imagine square dancing is like not that i have any actual <laughs> awareness of that but that's what i feel like i see a smooth transition hey we got some hips yes ah, there we go uh tell her yep. ah. 
And I like uh, how, again, this is, I've seen some groups that have maybe co-ed background dancers. I've seen some songs where it was a feature or something, but I, I've never seen a co-ed group. So I like to see how they're doing this choreography. It's not like the most elaborate, craziest choreography, but like it's fun and it's cute, it's sassy. Uh, and the way that they use their um their heights and then they use uh you know uh guy girl guy girl we do we do use some symmetry we do some interesting transitions uh so i find it interesting that they use that uh and then also looking at the outfits you're seeing the common theme the guys kind of match um and then we're seeing that uh that tan off white kind of thing going through and then obviously uh, one of them is wearing blue she's got a little pop of color in there and then the guys obviously got the shiny black pants and that's cool because this is a song about relationships so you have them kind of paired up it's interesting they're standing she's standing next to him she's going like this it's almost uh acting out the story of telling your mama about him uh you know being like hey i want to have someone i want you to meet i'm going to tell you about him so it's incorporating that in the choreography which is just that little it's just that little something that makes it different up on your ain't nigga hey. me you can't separate okay. your mama love me but your daddy died for said break her heart i'm going homicide I'm and again i like this this guy this he really he really brings that that maturity um that mature concept that that kind of western feel that real world grounded concept we have a longer verse here than you get in a lot of like k-pop songs so um, he gets to tell a little bit more of a story and i like that a lot so he starts off with something a little quick kind of like what we do in the pre-chorus uh, when she said um you're cute or something like that uh, and then here he starts off with a couple of quick things and then he changes up his flow and puts a little bit of a melody into this several times he does a lot in this in this so we'll try to touch on some of it i don't know if i'm going to get on all of it because i'm um, trying not to make hour-long videos these days but he does a lot that impresses you can't separate your mama love me but your daddy doubt your mom love me but your daddy doubtful that there's a little bit of a cadence there there's a little bit of a melody and it's a total change up from the previous line so he does a lot of that tonal shifting within his own part here said, break her heart i'm going homicidal so i'm outside at 2 a.m throwing pebbles all at your window that da 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 pebbles at your wind like that is it's nice he changes up the flow he draws out a couple of syllables it, i mean it's it's storytelling he's he's describing a sequence of events a, a describing a scene Beautiful. I'm going homicidal, so I'm outside at 2 a.m. Throwing pebbles all at your window. That's the only time we don't need to be sneaky with the new windows. I and I like that too. Again, very real. I don't know, you know, in a lot of the videos I see on this channel, I'm not seeing lyrics like this. I'm not seeing concepts like this. So um, outside throwing pebbles at your window, that that's reminiscent of a lot of imagery that you see in like stories, movies, you know, especially older, you know, kind of romantic stuff. And then I like that's the only time. So when we're alone, when it's night, there's no one else around. We don't have to be sneaky with innuendo. We don't have to pretend to not be feeling what we're feeling. We don't have to and hide what we're what we are to each other that kind of stuff so i think that's really dope i love that and again it's the story the only time we don't need to be sneaky with the new windows i'll play you know i could be a gentleman ah, and then he, and then so we that's slow we've got the cadence and then he changes up the flow we go a little faster now um we we hit the syllables in a completely different way and another shift in a very short period of time <laughs> No, you heard in my last song in your heart i won't meddle with i do anything to make our love last long it's that strong my passion for you i got money i can make transaction for you okay. you thank your ex for passing on you make me fine let me make your daddy proud of you i i really like that line um so first off i like this i you can hear the playfulness in his voice with the innuendo line there's a lot of personality here this I don't know if he writes his own lyrics, but whether he does or he doesn't, he he's someone that's coming off as connected to the lyrics, that he's actually expressing what he's saying a little bit, and that could be because he's feeling it. It could just be because, you know, he's a talented artist, and even if he didn't write it, he knows how to connect with it, but let me know. Yo, that's the only time we don't right here. Sneaky with a new wind. It's almost like you can hear the smirk while he says it. I was out playing, you know I could be a gentleman. You know I could be a gentleman, just a totally different flow from before. Yeah. No, you 
heard in my last song. In your heart, I won't meddle with. I do anything to make our love last long. And then we're gonna change it up again. But I also really like having the um, I don't know which lady it is, but we have someone doing some of the ad libs in there, and I think that helps transition to the next part as well. That's wrong, my passion for you. I got money, I can make transaction for you. And I like passion for you, transaction for you. So obviously for you and for you are the same words, but you have the, the main part of the rhyme actually before that. And then it gives you that multi-syllabic sound. You make you thank your ex for passing on you. Make fun. And I really like make you thank your ex for passing on you. I like that. That again, that's smooth. That's that swagger. That's confidence. That's being passion like, you. You, you, you would be normally, that's a sad thing. Normally, you know, an ex breaking up with you, someone leaving you, a relationship, relationship not working out that's usually bad but he's saying I'm so fucking dope that's a good thing because now you're not with that loser you're with me and I got a nice little convertible I got money I can make transaction for money make you thank your ex for passing on you yep. fine let me make you daddy proud of you love it and the reason I thought that it, it helped kind of transition is that I don't know if it's her but we had uh, a feminine light airy vocal as an ad lib a couple of times during his verse and then when he ends the transition happens that we go fully into a very light very elegant very feminine vocal moment and I really liked the way that they managed that transition and like I said I think having your ear hear a little bit of that while he was rapping helped make this transition more seamless Oh, I like it. I like it. Hmm. She literally dives in. Uh. And I really like this part too, where it's the same, uh, it's the same pre-chorus or whatever, uh, or chorus. It depends how you, I guess, how you consider it, but. It's a different um, delivery, even though it's the same lyrics. So we're hearing the same words, but they're being delivered differently. This time, there's a little bit more of a texture. There's a little bit more of a character. It's a little, uh, it's just a different take on the same thing, which adds to that re-listenable quality that I think you can really get when you have a well-constructed full-length song. Thank you, Card. I'm ready to dive in. Mm. Boy, you're cute. Yes. Love the way you're talking, how you move. Oh, I love the way she sings this. Up, there's nothing left to do. Yes. Oh, I really like that. Okay. Boy, you're cute. Hmm. Love the way you're talking, how you move. If you keep this up, there's nothing left to do. Hmm. When you love me just like that, yep. baby, there's no going back. When I tell my mama about you, tell no her. Hey. And I like we're still doing the ad lib thing and he comes in, he does sort of both. He does a little bit of a vocal transitions into rap. So I don't know if that's something he typically does. He's just showing a little bit of his range here. Uh, and then he kind of comes in, he dances on the instrumental a little bit and then he has that transition going. I wish the, the subtitles did the full translation but we can at least appreciate the delivery. Oh. Okay. Uh. So I really like his delivery is really interesting. He changes up his uh, his cadence a lot. He he does a lot of the um, kind of what the other guy did at the beginning, where he had a shorter line and then he has set up a longer line where you have something something and then you have more syllables, but then the second half is around the same number of syllables and it rhymes with the first line. So it kind of builds that anticipation. It sounds like he's doing that a lot. Obviously, I can't be totally sure, but it sounds like he's doing that a lot. There is also some kind of effect. It's like a production 
inflection choice on his voice, which I don't always love. I kind of would just rather hear the original voice. But as far as the delivery goes, they're all they all seem really good at injecting their own unique character. They're not trying to sound like each other. They're not trying to sound like anybody else. They all have their own character, their own qualities that they bring vocally and with their timing. And they all just seem to know really what they're supposed to do to kind of bring it together into sort of a cohesive piece and it keeps the song fresh while also being dynamic but without losing that like overarching theme it's just interesting parts that come together to make a whole <laughs> Oh, and then we, and then uh, my last, my last rant about song length. When you have a full length song, here we are. A lot of songs would be over by now, but here we are, past minute three. We've got some time to fucking play. So what are we gonna do? We're not gonna change up the instrumental dramatically. We're not gonna change up the lyrics. We're not gonna do anything crazy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna revisit some of the stuff we've already done, but this time we're gonna add some really nice background work uh, and we're gonna do a little bit of layering. We're gonna put some more of that character, put some more of that melody in there and we're gonna make it nice and we're gonna end the song feeling like we kind of went up a little bit, feeling like we went somewhere, went on a journey, because we did. That right there, that right there. I love that. I, who is that? I love the way she delivers that. The texture, the feeling, it's got a little bit of soul in there. It's just, yes, it's just yes. Very nice. Love it. It's dramatic. It's different. It's real. It's grounded. Absolutely great. Uh, so definitely let me know what you think. Let me know about them. Let me know who they are. Let me know if you agree, disagree. Uh, let me know if there's a reason why everything was tan. Maybe they like that. The hair, like everything. There's just a lot of strong themes in color. I don't know if that's just something they like to do. Maybe it's um, maybe they don't always do tan. Maybe they, because it's co-ed, they find ways to keep a lot of visual cohesion because they can't make everybody look the same, uh, as far as styling and with hair color and hair length and stuff. Like a lot of groups that are girl groups or boy groups, they can kind of give them all the same silhouette. They can just do things that make a more cohesive image than you can necessarily get because our brains just don't work that way when you're seeing two dudes and two ladies. So let me know if that's a thing they do or if it's just something they were doing here, but I found it interesting. Uh, let me know about them. Let me know if I'm right that that first rapper is the one that, um, that everybody was like, oh, there's this one guy. <laughs> Uh, but I really like that. Let me know what you think. This video was way longer than I intended it to be, but blame them for giving me a lot to talk about, I guess. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I don't know what Card's fan base is called. I hope you're not offended that I called you Cardigans, but uh, if you do like what I did here, if you want to see more Card, whether there's an album coming or other videos from this project, I don't know if this is a single or not, or just their older stuff, please uh, like the video, comment, subscribe. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers, and the more likes, comments, and subscribers I get on a video, the better it performs on the algorithm, the more people see it, and the more I know people want to see more Card. So definitely do that if you if you feel like you want to see more talk to me in the comments and until next time stay fresh